Hey, what is up guys? So the official Duel Links now is available to sign up to enroll in the closed beta. So if you guys don't know what that Duel Links is, it's a new Yu-Gi-Oh game that I actually covered a while ago, but this was the Japanese version of the game. If you guys want to check the uh, gameplay of this game, I'll link it down below. Uh, obviously this one's in Japanese, so it's going to be harder to read. But the, the English version is coming out, and you guys can enroll for the closed beta right now. So if you guys go ahead and visit the uh, site, and uh, I'll link it down below in the description box. You guys can sign up for the closed beta, it's just asking for like your uh, email and like you know very basic information on that kind of stuff. But uh, yeah, anyways, I kind of wanted to also talk a little bit about the game, uh, because a lot of you guys were like, what happened to this game? Why haven't you covered it? Well, uh, if you guys didn't know, they actually pushed back this game several times, and what's kind of nice, but also like kind of strange in one sense, because I'll, I'll talk a little about this. So it says the pre-registrations were sent out, and then um, the sign-up period was extended. Usually what that means, guys, is there's some either internal problem with the game, uh, which is why obviously they had a delay. Uh, I don't know exactly what happened with the delay, but you guys asked me for it. Uh, I honestly don't know, but sometimes it could be an internal problem, like, you know, the bugs, you know, it's a new game, you know, bugs happen and stuff like that. I'm just trying to clean out the bugs. But then also sometimes what happens with this uh, is that they didn't get enough people to sign up for the game. And what people usually want to do during these uh, betas and stuff, they want to stress test the server. So they need a lot of people to join at once. They actually uh, uh, said that uh, you guys that sign up, like the more people that sign up, they're going to release like more content for the game. It's kind of strange. I know Deus Ex is, and everyone hated them for that because they're like, oh, we'll release more content if more people sign up. But it's like, no, 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 that, that's not how it works. You guys got to just deliver a good game, not give all these incentives. Uh, and uh, apparently when you sign up earlier, you get gems. Uh, so the game is going to have microtransactions. Uh, some of you guys are like, oh, I'm out. I understand. Uh, but it does show right here that it says, like, you get gems. And uh, I, th I guess that's going to be the currency in the game. Uh, I don't know if that's, like, the free currency. Some games do, like, you get gold and then you get gems. And then gems are the ones you have to pay real money for. I assume that's what you're given uh, for free is, like, some of the stuff maybe to buy booster packs or individual cards. I don't know how the sell uh, operation works as far as, like, the card shop in the game. But I'll, I'll definitely cover this game for you guys. But, yeah, again, I just I haven't been covering the game because, like, the game was delayed. And, like I said, it's probably due to... To not enough players that signed up for the game and that is due to uh, them wanting to be able to stress test the servers which is understandable you need to make sure your game is stable but over here you can see it says free to download and play with in-app purchases so uh, that's good that it's free so it's accessible to everyone and hopefully the microtransactions won't be too harsh now uh, like I said, if you guys want to check out the gameplay of that, I'll link it down below, actually. I did cover it. Uh, again, it's in Japanese because uh, this was uh, actually a few months ago uh, when it uh, got shown off but anyways, let's go ahead and talk a little bit about the game. So uh, there are a lot of different mechanics with this game. Now, this is not a general Yu-Gi-Oh game that, you know, you have five zones and, like, the monster and the five zones and the uh, spell and trap. It's a little bit different. It looks like they have this little, like, story mode, so it's kind of cool. So some of you guys that maybe are interested in getting to learn the game or uh, just get familiar with some of the characters and stuff, I think this is going to be an excellent game for you guys. But for a lot of you veteran players, this is not the same Yu-Gi-Oh game, okay? Now, let me show you guys a screenshot. Like I said, if you guys want to watch the full gameplay, I'll link it down below. But uh, you can see... Uh, I don't think they were going to change it for the English version. I'm sure it's just a translation anyways. But you can see the cards. They're all vanillas, all right? And on top of that, there's only three monster zones and there's three back row zones. So pretty much at this point, that means making Quasar not going to really happen in this game. There's a lot of decks that just can't play. Like if you require four, you know, uh, cards as material, it's not going to happen. So there's a lot of decks that just can't be played on this. This is probably not for the competitive players. This is probably for people that, you know, uh, are going to like, you know, eventually watch the Yu-Gi-Oh! movie. And they're like, oh, sweet, I can download the game for free. And, uh, you know, it could be a stepping stone for them to get interested in the game. So props to Konami for that, uh, making the game more simplified uh, in a sense. But these are all vanillas. It's keeping the game relatively simple. And then, uh, like I said, you only have uh, three zones. So I, I believe this is Speed Duels. You can see that he has 4,000 life points. Uh, I'm not sure if... The uh, I've seen a video of them doing another mode in it, but it's kind of cool that there's different characters in the game that's got all of the classic characters. You can see they're like kind of going back to the core. But I also wanted to show you guys this because it's kind of relevant. So you have random match, and then there's friend duel. So that's cool that you can duel with your friends. So I guess it'd be more so like you know setting up your own custom match uh, for your friend. And then you have random match. The one thing I was really hoping for, and you can see this as mode select. It looks like there's an extra area here, so I'm hoping that they can add a ranked section to the game because I feel like that's what a lot of games need now. They have to have like you know the quick match and then like the ranked match and then obviously a custom match. Those are the matches that I think that we need in uh, this type of game. But like I said, it's probably more oriented around casual players or people learning to play the game. And you can see over here uh, on this picture of my uh, there's level one, and level two. I'm not sure what this means in terms of like the gems. 
but I'm thinking that uh, perhaps this is how much you earn when you play against Mai. Again, I, I haven't played the game myself, and I didn't see any English version, but once it actually releases, if we are accepted in the beta, we'll definitely get some gameplay for you guys, or if any of you guys get into the beta, uh, I guess hit, hit me up uh, on my email, I will definitely be interested in trying out the game, and I'll give you a shout out, and I'll really appreciate it, because sometimes with these betas, guys, keep in mind, not everyone has access to it, but I want to say that we're probably pretty safe, especially if they extended the time for the signups, because it, like I said, it's due to not enough people, more than likely, uh, due to not enough people signing up, and they want to stress test the servers, and that's like the most important thing. And uh, any beta really is just making sure everything is stable. But let me know, guys. Are you guys interested in this game in general? I know a lot of you guys want me to cover the game uh, just because it is Yu-Gi-Oh! content. But are you guys interested in actually playing this game? I think a lot of us will probably end up checking it out. But you know what? I'm going to go with it with an open mind. You guys know I really like synchros. And this is probably not going to be a game where you're going to really be able to do a synchro heavy combo plays. But uh, I don't know. Who knows? Maybe they'll come up with new other like ways and mechanics that will be introduced. I mean, pendulums are something super new. I don't know, and I don't even know if pendulums are going to be in here, because you can look at the zone over here, you can see, like, the deck, and then the graveyard, and then, like, I don't know if these are, like, unless they count both these pendulums on, I'm thinking one of them is the banished zone, I have no idea, uh, but, uh, like I said, a lot of the game is really simplified, I'll link it down below if you guys want to, like, watch the full video of, uh, this, like, thing in action, but a lot of the stuff is really old cards, just keep that in mind, it's not really catered towards us competitive players, it's a casual game, more than likely. But uh, we'll see in the future if maybe, maybe they'll add another mode. Like, going back over here, maybe they have a, like, competitive mode that actually has five zones. I have no idea. I'll have to wait and see. Hopefully that game on August 18th will actually be for us competitive players. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I'm signing out.